Det var det mer. Jag har ju sett här. Jag vill ha respons. Jag tror Tower Guardian. Och du vill veta. Du vill veta the truth behind my handle, behind my name. You think you can unearth and unmask the secrets of my true name, Tower Guardian? Well, baby, I'm gonna break it down and make it real simple for you in a concise fashion. Utilizing concision is the best I can in my way about of rambling and explaining topics. I'm saying, baby. But uh, where it begins is. Let me start in the beginning. Uh, I'm sort of like a uh, trickster spirit in the flesh. I'm from a long line of, of rabbits. That's what we call, you know, uh, the the guys in my family, the male line, uh, just older versions of me. Um, I like to sort of mythologize things to make things more interesting for myself and constantly sort of work, whether they be through free actions or standard actions or full run actions or, or extended actions. Work towards entertaining myself. I do vastly amounts of things to do that and hopefully by extension other people. But, um, you know, that's generally a vast portion of my life philosophy. And, uh, you know, in, in that amusing uh, aspect, um, I like to give people nicknames, all kinds of different nicknames and, and different sort of things and point out and augment and blow out of proportion characteristics. Uh, you know, we give uh, people in the groups like, you know, we're playing like a D&D &D deal. Like, okay, well, my, my buddy over here has been doing martial arts for, for 15 years. Okay, well, that guy's a monk. This guy over here, uh, you know, is a real outdoorsy guy. So he's like a druid or ranger or whatever. And, you know, blowing that up for different sorts of settings and portions. And the fact that I give people nicknames all the time like that for all sorts of different things. And and just, just, just normal nicknames. Like, everybody everybody in my group has a nickname, whether it's Berger or Nos or Moth, or Crab, or, um, you know, Frank the Rapist, or whatever the nickname is, everybody's got a nickname, and almost all of them came from me. So, by extension of throwing that out there, a lot of people feel very free and comfortable, as which all of you should as well, to come back with me with whatever they like, in every form and fashion that they want to do it in. So, you know, uh, all that is fair, <laughs> and uh, I'm very, um, not necessarily abrasive, but... Uh, I like to be above board. I like to uh, backstab and, and, you know, smile at someone's face and, oh, that guy's a dick. You know, if I think you're a dick, I'm going to tell your dick right to your face and I'm going to crack on you and uh, at least you're going to know and, you know, at least have opportunity. I'll explain why and you have opportunity to, to maybe rectify that or be like, oh, you know, you're right. And if someone calls me or something, I'll be like, yeah, you know, you're definitely right on that one. Um, you know, uh, I tend to be a rather thick-skinned person. But I'm explaining all that to sort of give you a foundation to understand the fact that most people are very comfortable to say whatever they want to, man, uh, which I like. I, I hate the, the walls and illusions of some sorrow that we have to function under so much of the time. I really hate that. Uh, so, I have a lot of characteristics, uh, and I have a degree, one of the degrees I have is in uh, a philosophy, religious studies degree, um, you know, I've, I've extensively, extensively and extendedly as well, studied religious for the time I was like three you know, I go to the library always want my, my parents to give me books on Norse mythology on Celtic mythology on Greek mythology on Egyptian mythology with the books on dinosaurs with books on monsters I was always fascinated with this stuff there was no doubt as soon as I got a hold of some D&D &D information I was down with that and down with role playing games down with all this stuff you know uh, studying you know various aspects of the cult studying uh, the historical applications and the anthropological concerns of these um, ways in which people group themselves together with the ways that they adhere to philosophy and to attempting to extend themselves to something greater uh, than they themselves are. All that's really fascinated me uh, throughout my life. And being that, as it is, a lot of people said, you're totally going to lead a cult to me, which... I wouldn't because of one reason, I, the kind of people that would join a cult, I would just rather just choke and I just could not deal with 50 of those people around me. That would probably be more like hell to me than uh, uh, an ego stroking, uh, which I, I really don't care about, which you know the other reason that I would not put up with uh, 50 of those sort of uh, ham and eggers. Um, so, uh, but <laughs> those characteristics were there. So fair enough points. Lots of people pointed out, oh, you lead a cult. So one of my friends started doing this thing like with the fish, you know, like for the Christians, and I'm not one of them. I'm an atheist. Um, 
But I find religion utterly fascinating. I love it. I love to talk about it, people's personal ideas and philosophies and stuff like that. I'm not one of those atheists that's like, yeah, religion discriminates against me. They fucking annoy me. It's probably more than they annoy uh, other people. But, um, you know, the little Jesus fish gimmick, um, or the Cthulhu one. <laughs> First of all, I thought it was very funny, Cthulhu eating Jesus fish. Um, but the Jesus fish, uh, they start calling the ander fish. They, like, they draw things and, and, and put it on there. Uh, uh, under that, so it's like, oh, that's brilliant. And so whenever anyone puts a joke on me, I will sell. I will always sell anything. So I want it to keep coming because that is funny. It's funny to me. So if it's funny to me, I'm going to keep rolling with it and let's keep going having a good time. So that just turned into uh, what would Andrew do instead of what would Jesus do or whatever the Christians say. Um, and, you know, that, that just rolled for you know, a couple years before online. And when I was online, I was like, oh, I guess I need a handle. Uh, I don't really just want to put my, you know, name there or do I? I don't know. I guess I don't care. So let me just put my name on there and then throw something else on, behind it. You know, I think what happened is the first thing I wanted, I couldn't get Andrew Wood because I think it was my name. That's what, that's right. I was going to put Andrew Wood down because I don't care if people know my name is, <laughs> obviously, in cyberspace and I didn't when I started really getting into it like in the 90s. So I just put, uh, I thought for a minute, so what can I come up with? I said, aha, uh, you know, the nickname has been given to me. So I put that down. And that is what it is. And I thought it was particularly applicable in terms of what this is, because that's what I do with my channel, sort of explaining my philosophies on role-playing games. So you are actually learning what would Andrew do in this situation. And that allows you to take uh, whatever you can from my uh, meandering gibberings, if you can put them into any sort of coherency into your mind, then perhaps, just perhaps, you, you can get a perspective that is a little different. And I went and watching other people's videos, and a lot of them really inspired me to do this. Uh, I said, you know, I have completely different ideas than you guys that are doing these videos, and maybe someone will be interested in hearing them. Um, and I've come up with techniques that uh, I, I haven't, still haven't heard anyone say, oh, I did that, you know, in a lot of the videos that I've put out. So I figured, why not share that? Why not, you know? go and buy a webcam that fucking sucks even though I spent $100 for it and put some put some videos together so that is what my name is and why it is and the guy who gave it to me is the second to last guy in my Mutual Masterminds game Joe Hoff the uh, I, don't think, I think he was clean shaven not not the first guy uh, the, se the second to last guy in that video gave me the name so well, there you go uh, good question by the way when 